Welcome back to your video, and today's video we're playing Serious Guidance, and today's video we're going to be building a new power plant and also expanding our industrial area. So I first started by moving some stuff in this corner here out of the way, because this is where we're going to have our new road connection for our power plant, some new industrial stuff back here. But I just made it to where I followed the other service road on the other side of the highway, and just made it to where it's one tile away from the highway, and then later on I did end up just filling up that space with concrete. And then I just connected the road from the, this side of the main road to the other side. Which I am surprised that people don't really use it for, as a cut through. And then this bridge has just kind of been sitting here for a long while. And I've always wanted it to just be a purpose for being a quicker way to get across at least for the people on this side of the city. So I just connected that in. Made everything look all good. And then I made this road here. And then I put in a toll booth to work as like control booth just to make it sure that people aren't coming into the power plant that aren't supposed to. And then I then built our power plant, at least the outside roads. And this is going to be a coal power plant, so I put in the advanced coal um, building. And then I put in the coal storage, or the one that looks like it out of the ore storages in the industrial DLC. So I put that one in here. And then um, I just continued expanding our um, roads out. And then I eventually just added some more power plants onto this. So I added our advanced one. I added the tr two traditional coal ones. And while these are technically all separate, I wanted to make it all feel to where they were together. And then I also filled in some space where I could at least, because the advanced ones I can't put the aprons on next to, um, with concrete. So I put that in, and I also put in... Power lines, obviously. So um, I do um, work on them, and then I would just bring them to different parts of the city. So th the this one I brought over to expand to going towards where the main train hub is and the transport hub, and then that also connects into our industrial area. And then I couldn't fit in this power line here, so I just decided to have all these three continue all along out to the beach, and then connect to the city over there. And where I wanted the power lines to end, or at least have some sort of power station, I just put fenced it in, and I did also just add in the earthquake detector, just because it looked like a little substation. And then what power plant is complete without a fence going around the border of it? So I just put in this fence that goes all the way around the border of it, I try to make it to where it looks as seamless as possible with the fences around the other buildings here, at least for the power plants, and so I just put that in. I didn't even squeeze it in some spots like under the bridge here, but it ended up fitting in, and it, it definitely fits as I liked it, and I just made it to where it connected into the one for the um, train yard. I also finished out the train yard here by just expanding our fence and also putting in some aprons in to make it all concrete. Because I realized that not many people were going to use this road, I just downgraded it to just two lanes instead of the four. I left it the four up where the two main roads meet and the bridge, just because I see that as an extension of the bridge. And then I clean up the area by getting rid of some trees and just doing fishing touches on the power plant. And then this is going to be where our sm a small little industrial um, complex will be. It isn't going to be like one building or one big thing per se but it's going to be a couple different ones that's just zoned but it's all just going to be in this little area here and i just threw it all together filled in some grass spots with more aprons and then i um also put in some service roads and other stuff just to make everything look all nice and fit in together
And then I started removing and moving stuff around to make room for another industrial area, which this is going to be zoned again. But it's definitely going to be a whole lot bigger than the other one. It's going to be pretty much take up most of this little space here in between the tracks and the main road. So I got rid of the power plants, which I didn't need to end up adding temporary ones back. At least some of them. But that I did a bit later on. And um, it isn't really a problem right now. But I just put in all the roads, made sure everything looked um, all well. I just pretty much just did a simple grid. Which, I know there's a whole load of train um, crossings here, but it would be fine. Um, I got rid of zoning on the main road just to ensure nothing gets built there. I also got rid of zoning on some of the other roads too. Just to ensure the maximum amount of uh, building size for this area. And make sure everything all looked well and how I want it. But... This is where I then added in the power plants back, the temporary ones, those will get rid of in the future. But here is the final product. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe and do hope to see you in the next one. Bye!